Hey, Jason, this is uh, Mina from MyaSound. Have you met before? Hey, Mina. Yeah, actually, we have. She looks remarkably familiar. Didn't we just tour the country with her? We may have, in <laughs> fact, done exactly that. We have actually just finished the CX Summer Roadshow where we've done a PA demonstration session. This is one of the, one of the eight systems we mm. had mm. in the same room. Um, and look, I think for my money, the one of the nicest things about this one is uh, not only how it sounds, but how consistently... Yep. It does so. Yeah, we put Mina here in a lot of different environments, like sort of big, empty exhibition halls uh, and small meeting rooms that weren't really suited for a PA demo. And I, Mina was one of the most consistent performers in mm. terms of it, it sounded, you know, you got out what you put in pretty much everywhere we went, which is a very rare quality in a PA. Yeah, now look, um, obviously it is a, a line array system. It's the baby of the family, mm -hmm. which includes uh, also Micah, Melody, and Milo. Mm -hmm. um, this is ground stacked on top of a pair of 500 HP subs at the moment. And the subs, you know, you could use any subs you want. Mm -hmm. These are nice, they're quite punchy, but I reckon if you wanted to go really low, you'd go something bigger like the 1100 LFC. Yep. Um, this transition frame can also be uh, used upside down to fly this beneath the subs, so you can fly the subs, mm -hmm. or you can fly this underneath uh, a melody system yep. as well. So if you need some downfill, yep. good option there. Um, horizontal nominal coverage is 100 degrees, and vertical obviously is going to vary depending on what angles you set mm -hmm. using the incredibly good rigging system. I've got to say, this is lovely. It is. And now you actually put all of this together just by yourself. Yeah, well, you weren't that's here simple. yesterday, yeah, so well, I right. don't. And, and look, it's um, dual six and a half uh, plus a three inch compression driver. That's three inch voice coil and three inch uh, dome with, I think, a 1.2 inch exit. So uh, a fair bit of fair bit of grunt in there and obviously as well also self-powered yeah now speaking of grunt you had the opportunity to give this thing quite a bit of stick i gave it a veritable walloping i think <laughs> is the term jason and, and how uh, did it held up uh, it held up very nicely yes. indeed um look i we did have a, a fairly wide variety of systems on that mm. demo, um, and obviously some more headroom than others. This one, certainly no mm. shortage mm. Of, uh, of headroom at all. Yeah. We were running this as well off uh, a Galileo 616, but you don't need to go to that extent. You can run it off a simpler processor, mm. and that's just sorting out basically, you know, mm. filtering on the subs and, um, mm. and a bit of time alignment. Yeah, so look, it's got uh, my sounds great pristine quality and accuracy. Obviously that comes at uh, my sound price, but I think for the performance it's worth it. Yeah, look, this is definitely not something you, you buy as a throwaway system. It's mm. a, certainly a, a sincere investment, but mm. I think um, for what you get, you're certainly likely to see a good return on it. Yeah, I agree.